guys welcome again to my channel today i have a witchy unboxing for you guys because i still have this um witch casket from april i think it is to unbox don't know which team it is yet we'll discover it together soon but before we do that if you're new to my channel hi i'm megan and welcome to quill scene if you like things that have to do with magic with harry potter with reading with writing with books with um, D DC, Marvel, um, with Disney, with Star Wars, with anything geeky really, then you're in the right place. Make sure to click on that magical subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell because on that way you'll always get a notification whenever I upload something new. But uh, yeah, I'm quite curious what the theme of this box could be, so let's get started. <music> As usual, before we start, a little bit more information about uh, Witch Casket. Witch Casket is a monthly subscription box uh, based in the UK. Every month is has their own team and their own items. Um, the company is run by a mother-daughter team, being Dap and Ella. Uh, Dap is also a practicing witch, so uh, she makes a lot of the content in these boxes herself. Uh, like the um, there's usually a ritual or a spell kit um, in in every box, and there's also like a monthly scroll scroll that you can add to your book of shadows or your grimoire, with information about um, the month's theme. Um, and usually she writes those herself. Uh, other things you can expect in these boxes are like uh, gemstones, uh, things for your altar, um, a ritual or spell kit. Um, there is usually also a monthly pin in this box. Um, teas they're usually also in. Um, so yeah, lots of things uh, to add to your magical room. Um, I think that's about it that I can tell you from which casket. Um, they don't really announce a team beforehand. So it's always a surprise when you open the box and you see this little, little booklet on top uh, that reveals the team. And then inside the booklet um, is a lot of information about every item. So that's actually the spoiler card, but it's also with a lot of information uh, behind every item. And that's what I really love about Witch Casket because I've been practicing witchcraft. Well, practicing. I've been a fan of witchcraft since I was eight. Um, really practicing I've been I think I've been doing since I was a teenager so um, I'm a bit more practiced <laughs> on on the areas that really interested me um, but this box is both for already practicing witches as witches who are just starting out uh, uh, so it's, it's really um, a box full of information uh, that can help you in your journey of witchcraft but also if you have questions or uh, need a bit more information, don't hesitate to contact them through Instagram or through mail or on Facebook or whatever, because uh, they will always gladly help. Um, but I think that's what I can tell you about which casket. Let's quickly dive into this one. So as I said, this one is the one from April. So let's quickly discover what the theme is. Sneak peek time. So we have our witch casket box and when we open it we see on top the little booklet and this month's theme is intuition and underneath the booklet are the items hiding. So as I said the first thing we see is this little booklet. It says witch casket intuition April 2021. So uh, with that we immediately know uh, the theme for the month of April. Inside we have a little bit of artwork and then on the first page we have a little um, note from Dap and Ella and then the other pages are basically the spoiler cards so I'm not going to uh, take a look at those yet. Um, every booklet has always a different color scheme and that color scheme is usually um, used throughout the entire box so everything fits in nicely together but yeah intuition i'm really curious to see uh, what this box holds because uh, i am very i'm someone who is very yeah very relates on their gut feeling i'm a very emotional person and um yeah uh, that that's something i in daily life always if it's not if i feel that there's something wrong with a decision 
even a little sliver of doubt, I usually back away. So, um, yeah, I'm really curious to see what uh, they came up with around this theme. So I'm going to put our little booklet aside for now and we're going to dive into the box. So right beneath our um, booklet is this fun art print. This is also one of the items that um, appears in every box, which is always a fun little art print. Um, it's either the uh, square size that this one is it can also sometimes be like postcard size. Um, but I love these sizes because it's easy to, you know, hang somewhere or uh, to decorate your door with or something. So uh, this one has a lot of tools on it. We see like tarot cards, we see crystal ball, we see um, one of those wooden or you also have them in ceramic hands with uh, the lines for palm reading. We of course see in the middle a pentacle with underneath a pandal or pandalum, I think it's called in English. In, in uh, Dutch we say a pandal. Uh, we see of course also a cup of tea so we can read um, the tea leaves. Um, we see also a cloud with the stars in it, uh, with the star sign in it. So yeah, it's all about intuition and about predicting the future really love this one and I love the little pentacles and moons uh, in the corners they form like the um, triple moon triple goddess symbol so yeah really fun art print I also love the dark like purple color on the background so yeah I'm a fan they always do beautiful art prints so uh, I can see when when I finally start with with my magical witchy room because it gets always postponed because there are other things in, in the house that have to be done first. Um, I can totally see myself like on the inside of my door hang it full with all the little art prints from Witch Casket because they are so fun. Okay, next. Another booklet. Ooh. See, this is what I mean. This is a booklet um, and it's called The Art of Divination. And it is written by Dap Robinson, which is of course Dap from uh, who runs the business, because as I said in the intro, she is a practicing witch. So uh, she writes out a lot of like the spells and the rituals and these little booklets herself. So it has uh, a lot of information about, of course, the art of divination. This is the artwork on the other side of uh, the cover. And then we have like a little intro. And then we have things like preparing for divination, preparing your tools for divination during the reading, after the reading. And then you get like, how do you do scrying? How do you use a crystal ball? Uh, hydromancy, which is water scrying. Ceremancy, which is wax scrying, so with candles. Pyromancy is fire scrying. That's one of my favorites actually to do because my bird element is fire. Um, Catoptromancy, which is um, with a mirror scrying. Uh, lithomancy, that's with gemstones or charms. Uh, dousing pendulum. Rune stones you can use. Um, psychography, which is automatic writing, which I find sometimes a bit spooky, if I'm honest, because as a writer, yeah. And then you, of course, can also tarot, uh, use tarot cards. Um, and yeah, that's all that's in this little booklet. On the back we have also a little um, yeah, summary, I guess it is. The divination is the practice of seeking knowledge of the future or the unknown by supernatural means. There is an art to divination and it is true that many people seem to have a natural gift. But this is also something that can be mastered over time, as you learn to tune into your intuition. This book is a basic introduction to the most common methods of divination. So yeah, really handy. Um, I sometimes, um, usually I, I use like tarot cards and my pendulum um, because yeah, it gives also a lot of sense of calm to me personally. Because um, as I said, I'm quite in in yeah intuitive if I say so myself. Um, I follow my intuition a lot and um, also I have lately it's been better 
but as a teenager I had a lot of like these predicting dreams like and that when when they actually happened in real life it was like deja vu from her huh? wait wait I, I this happened before but then it was in my dream so yeah really weird sometimes but really handy booklet then we have our little baggie um, and these usually contain the um, ritual kit or spell kit and this is a third eye bath or shower ritual. It contains everything you need to open your third eye and enhance your psychic abilities. So for the ones who don't know what a third eye is, your third eye is basically like an, an invisible, invisible eye that is right here in the center of your forehead. And it is actually that eye that, that can see like things like auras and um, when you open when, when you open your third eye, it's actually um, that you're more sensitive to the magic and the psychic um, energies around you. So uh, let's quickly take a look. I'm going to cut open my bag that I don't ruin the sticker too much because I... Um, keep usually everything in the bags like this until I use everything so we're going to take everything out yes everything is out so first things first of course we have our um, little card with the instructions um, and then we have on like this almost reusable tea bag uh, which is called the bat or shower pouch Then we also have um, a few bags and this one is um, Lavender flowers Which is quite known to everyone then in this bag we have a jasmine flowers and Then we also have a lavender bath salts so um, we have to charge each item with our intent to open our third eye, heighten intuition and enhance psychic, psychic abilities. Uh, believe that you will see that which you desire to see, no more, no less. And then you have to place each item in the pouch. Then you prepare yourself and your bed or shower. This can mean meditating or and grounding yourself or lighting candles, playing soft music, drinking herbal tea. Um, whichever you like uh, the best um, and then uh, you can add the pouch to a ritual bath or place over the shower head uh, if you do not have a bathtub as the water soaks your body um, you can feel all the stress and tension washing away allow the magical blend to leave you feeling cleansed and uh, refreshed feel your intuition heightening and your third eye opening so yeah fun little ritual also love that they added bath salts. I use a lot of bath salts lately. So uh, yeah, fun little ritual that I for sure will try out one day. This one would be a good one to do around Halloween. I don't know. Yeah, I know why I say that because Halloween is like Halloween or Shemaine is like the threshold that. Um, the veil between like the living world and the um, underworld, well, underworlds, the world of the spirit world is uh, on its thinnest. So um, that's also why, like, uh, why we honor that on the first of November. Um, so if you, I think, if you would do this with Halloween, um, I think you could. Yeah, you can really feel like the spirit energy around you. Just a little thought. Okay, then we get to the items that are hidden between the little peanut packaging thingies. We have, and I think, yes, there are two of them. Oh, now they pack their teeth like this. So now we have um, two little baggies like this. Um, before we also got um, tea in like a paper bag and inside was then a plastic bag with the tea in. Now we have uh, two little bags, I guess tea bags in it. Um, 
and this is the Prophetic Dreams Jasmine Tea. Um, and uh, the ingredients are jasmine flowers and f uh, fusion black tea. So yeah, as usual, I'm not going to open it because um, I don't drink tea. <laughs> so uh, these are gifted out to my friends or my cousins. But I actually like the fact that they now pack it like, um, you know, portions for one use. Um, and I guess that they are in tea bags or is it Lucy? I don't know. Uh, but still, I like the new packaging and it's also branded for which casket, so yeah, nice change. What else do we have? We have um, yeah, the scroll, but I'm keeping the scroll till last. Ooh, we have a little box and it says an unscented soy wax candle. Hmm, a natural soy wax candle. Uh, make your magic more potent by anointing, dressing or, and preparing with intent for your cho chosen ritual. You can never have too many candles. Unless you're my mom because she gets insane from all the candles. I've, ooh, you are pretty. So it comes in a little ceramic um, marble green and white pot. And indeed it is just a white soy candle. Um, you can add like little pieces of gemstone to it, uh, you can add essential oils to it, dried flowers to it, um, herbs to it, um, you can um, like use like a little uh, a pencil or a needle or anything like a bit sharp to um, engrave uh, runes or words or symbols in it um, and on that way you can easily fit it in with any ritual that you actually want to do. So yeah, it's really fun um, that they added like a neutral candle that you can use as you please. Even if you don't intend to do a ritual or a spell, you can use it just as a candle burning. So uh, yeah, really, really fun. I like the pot, even though I'm not that into green, I like the marble effect. So yeah, nice essential item as they call it. What else do we have? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, this one, I think they spoiled back in the days. Um, they, uh, this is like a little um, pentacle altar. Um, yeah, how do you call it? Uh, altar decoration. Uh, I think they announced that one on their Instagram as that this would be like an, an extra little gift for their subscribers. So uh, yeah, really fun. I'm, I, you can make me happy with anything that has a pentacle on it because um, yeah, it, it just, it's, it stands for protection. And it is also like the symbol of, of being a witch and practicing witchcraft or Wicca. So um, yeah, really happy with this one. And I can totally see this become like one of the centerpieces on my altar throughout the year. Because as I just said, um, the pentacle stands for protection, but it also draws in any kind of magic. Because you have um, spiritual magic, you have fire magic, you have water uh, magic, you have air magic, and you have earth uh, um, magic. And the points of the five, uh, the five points stand uh, for all of those. Um, and then come together in the center, so... Yeah, this is the symbol of witchcraft, so I'm really happy that they added it to the box. We still have things to do, to find and to do. Yes. Ooh. Okay. I found this really weird looking scissors, and if I'm not mistaken, I think these are for like, um, for um, trimming the... How do you call them again? The wicks? Like these ones? The wicks of your candles. Usually people do that when they uh, use this, when they um, make their own candles. So maybe I should try my, making my own candles too. But this can come in handy for sure. Um, a few boxes ago I think we even had a, like an... Um, oh, also one of these but then with like this bell 
like thingy at the end and that was actually a candle snuffer to put out your flames uh, without blowing them out so uh, yeah fun tool I uh, don't know when I'll be using it but I sure will be using it one day for sure so that's that what else do we have we have a little a bag and on it it is there is like a crystal ball with um, an eye which is the third eye uh, on it well in it what are you oh I think this is the gemstone of the month Ooh, and it's not just any gemstone it is an amethyst I know I recognize the stone without a doubt but it has a third eye symbol engraved into it so um, on this way it is even more of a tool on your um, on your altar uh, instead of just a normal amethyst stone so we have also our little card with the information um, so amethyst has long been recognized as one of the ultimate uh, ultimate spiritual crystals and in many ancient cultures only royalty priests and priestesses had access to the mysterious mysteries and secrets of this stone hold this crystal close to help open and stimulate your third eye and enhance insight and intuition <laughs> really love this one amethyst is one of my birdstones and it's also actually my favorite gemstone so uh, yeah really happy with this one <laughs> I see more crystal ball design like on the little baggie because we have our monthly pin and is as I said it is the same design as on the little baggie where uh, our gemstone came in so um, yeah really fun again the same colors as on uh, the spoiler card slash booklet and as on every item in this box um, so yeah, we have our um, crystal ball in which the third eye is looking back at us. Um, the colors are light green and purple. Yeah, really fun, um, fun uh, pin. And the back is like this. If you look at it, you get dizzy. <laughs> if you look at it too long, I mean, you get dizzy. So uh, yeah, really fun pin. I love their witchy pins. Still have to make my pin board to display all of my witchy pins what else do we have Ooh. we have another bag and this one has like a tarot card on it with third eye on and we have I have to be careful yes okay so we have a set of cards and is that everything Yes, ooh, we have a dice um, made out of um, amethyst again, and we have all sorts of symbols on them. And the cards have, so we have our card with um, the explanation, on it, and I'm going to get to that in a bit. But then we have like the cards on the back have all different symbols, and then on the back we have all sorts of text and I'm going to quickly see what this actually is this is called an um, intuition deck and die sit where you can be undisturbed and bring yourself to a place peaceful and relaxed state roll the die this will tell you the area of your life you are reading for so we have this symbol that is for wealth then we have the heart, this one, that is for Roman's relationship. Then we have like the swirl, that stands for spiritual emotional health. Then we have like the three um, circles stacked on each other with uh, the line uh, through it is for physical health and healing. We have the little three symbol that stands for growth. And then we have also the question mark and that stands for general advice. Uh, then we have to shuffle our cards, so these ones, not the one with the information on it. 
um, while thinking about the aspect of your life that you just rolled. Um, only stop shuffling when your intuition says you have shuffled enough. Turn over the top card and use your intuition to interpret, interpret um, how this meaning can be used to improve this area of your life. Yeah, really fun deck. Usually I do this with just, you know, tarot cards or with oracle cards. Um, so this one is really fun. So, um, as I said, this the front of each card has like different um, symbols on them. And then the back has like advice. So um, the one that is now on top says, it could be time for a new beginning. Watch out for an opportunity about to present itself or create that opportunity for yourself. You have not realized your potential yet. You have only scratched the surface. It's time to make plans to improve your situation. Really good advice. <laughs> so yeah, that is this little intuition deck. Um, really fun. And also it's, it's a fun take on the divination and intuition um, yeah, aspect because as I said, when, when I usually have like this gnawing feeling that there's something wrong or that I'm standing on a crossroad and I don't know which decision is the best. I also tend to my tarot cards or to my um, oracle cards for some advice. And then I tend to go also to my mom because, well, let's face it, moms, moms always give the best advice, so yeah. Uh, but now I have another tool uh, when I can't decide or I'm unsure about which decision I have to make. So yeah, really fun item. Do we have something else beside the scroll? Let's see, yes. I'm going to dig through the box and make sure that those are the last items. Yes, okay. So we have this little pouch and the scroll, but the scroll is always the um, item I end with. So I'm um, going to keep you aside for a moment. Ooh, ooh, I love it already. Can you guys see what's inside? So in this little pouch we have a beautiful key with a little tassel also in lavender and the key is in silver, yeah, metallic silver and um, on top we again have um, the crystal ball with the third eye in it. Really cool. I don't know why, but my entire life I have been obsessed with keys and like these vintage keys and, and um, feathers because the feather is because I'm a writer. I, you know, quill. Uh, hence why my channel is called Quill Scene, but I have the same fascination with keys and I never realized why until, um, yeah, I started reading into witchcraft and um, and in Wicca and this one, uh, their their keys are actually used a lot. So we also have this little card inside with uh, more information about our magical key. It says keys have been uh, believed to offer protection from evil, so carry this with you to shield you as you open the doors of opportunity. If you need to unlock a particular path, sit with your key and set that intention. Allow it to guide you. Oh, so that's maybe why I was like this bit obsessed as I, um, <laughs> as a kid and as a teenager with keys, because um, as I said, I'm very sensitive uh, to um, emotions, but also to, to inputs like light and, and sound. So uh, maybe I, without knowing it, I always was drawn to keys because they shielded me somehow. I don't know. Fun, fun thing how magic can find a way in your life, I'm telling you. But yeah, really, really fun item. I love keys, I can't help it. Okay, so our last item is our little scroll. And this time the sticker is again the third eye. So let's carefully pull the sticker away. And of course I have the paper with along. Uh, there we go. I like to 
put the sticker back on the back of the paper. So on our little scroll we have a guide to your third eye. So in the um, the text um, above is where your third eye is located. As I said, um, on your forehead, just above your eyebrows. Well, in between your eyebrows, but just a little higher. Um, what your third, what the third eye stands for, and then. Uh, signs that your third eye is open or opening. Uh, you have re regular feelings of deja vu. My predicting dreams are coming back. You have vivid dreams which are easily remembered the next morning. Yeah, that happens too. You can pick up on the emotions of other people. Uh, again, I'm very sensitive to that. I can read. I can read the emotions of people rather quickly, because and that's I think also why people quickly come to me when, when they have need someone to talk to because they always say I'm a good listener because I know they need me on that moment to listen, I guess. So I think my third eye is already open. Uh, you can pick up on the energies of other people. You creative, your, creativity, your creativity increases. Yes, <laughs> you ha may have visions or hear things that other people can't see and hear. You just know things without knowing how or why. You just know. Yeah. <laughs> and then there are also a few tips to uh, help open your third eye. Uh, meditation, dreams, breathing and of course aromatherapy. Thanks little scroll. Now I'm pretty sure I'm uh, my third eye is already open. Because as I said, the deja vus, the dreaming, I, I can remember all my dreams. I'm, I'm also like one of those people that can alter a dream while dreaming. Because I know like I'm, I'm dreaming and then I'm like, ah, wait a minute, let's go back a second. And it's like a time warp and then I can change the path of the dream. So yeah, it's, it's very, I'm a weird person, I think. <laughs> so uh, yeah, nice little scroll. With that, we only have our peanuts, packing peanuts in the um, in the little box. So it's time for our booklet. Let's see if we have everything. Uh, we found everything in this box. So the first thing was our intuition deck and die. And dice, I mean. So this one uh, with the cards and the little dice made of amethyst. Um, our enchanting custom pouch, it's a beautiful pouch, uh, contains 10 exclusive intuition cards and an amethyst dice created especially for you. Uh, mirroring the principles of tarot, numerology and symbolism. Ooh, yes. Yes, it is indeed a nice marriage of those uh, three things. Witch Caskus intuition deck and dice originated here at Witch Caskus and there is no other deck like it anywhere else in the world. We hope this insightful and powerful divination tool helps you to uh, work on your intuition to discover ways to improve your journey. Yeah, really fun. Can't wait to use this one. This is really a good and fun item. Um, then we had our carved amethyst stone, which came in this beautiful little pouch. And I'm going to get it out one more time, if the drawstrings of the back allow it. So we have our flattened um, amethyst stone with our third eye on it. Um, and the text in the booklet is basically the same as on the little card inside of it. I'm just going to tie off the end again because the knot was loose. So yeah, that was our uh, gemstone of the month. Uh, then we had the Art of Divination book by Dap Robinson, which was uh, uh, this booklet. Uh, divination is the practice of seeking knowledge in the future or the unknown by supernatural means. There is no uh, art to divination and it is true that many people seem to have a natural gift. So basically it's the same text as on the back of the book. So yeah, um, this one is very handy even for practice we pra already practicing witches because um, it's a nice overview. Um, it, 
it's it's enough information but very short so that you don't have to read through an entire book so uh, yeah it's really handy both for beginning witches as already practicing witches um then we had our magical key keys have long been believed to offer protection from evil so carry this one with you wherever you go so yeah again the same text as on the little uh, card then we had our third eye bath or shower ritual kit which was uh, this one uh, and it contains the bath shower pouch, the lavender flowers, the jasmine flowers, and of course the lavender bath salts. So yeah, really, I'm really, really curious to try this one out because it's a really fun ritual and also a relaxing uh, one. So uh, yeah. Then we had a guide to your third eye parchment scroll, which is uh, this one. That will be uh, added to my Book of Shadows right away after I took pictures of it for on Instagram, of course. Uh, then we have our, um, going to put it out of its box again, our uh, soy candle in the marbled green pot. A pure and natural high quality soy candle. Make your magic more potent by anointing, dressing or preparing uh, with intent for your chosen ritual. Real love the little marble effect on the pot. Uh, then we had our prophetic dreams jasmine tea, which were uh, these ones. So as I said, new packaging. Um, and the ingredients are indeed jasmine flowers and fusion black tea. So, but as I said, I don't drink tea, so these go to my uh, cousins or my friends who do drink tea. Then we had our crystal ball enamel pin. Uh, we had our uh, wick trimmer. As I said, don't know when I'm going to use it, but it's fun to have it. And it makes a, a really fun sound. Uh, then we had um, intuition art print, which was this one with all our lovely um, tools that we can use for divination. Um, the art of divination captured beautifully in one magical composition. Doesn't say who made it though, so no clue who made it, but it's a really beautiful art print. And then uh, last but not least, we had our exclusive free gift pentacle display. I really love this one. This one is pretty. And with that, we came to uh, the end of our box. A uh, really, really strong box because, as I said, I um, recognize myself a lot in the intuition part of um, of witchcraft. Um, and as I said, after reading the scroll, I'm pretty sure my third eye is already open. Uh, <laughs> so, um, but yeah, time to pick my top three, I guess, uh, of this strong box. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I'm gonna give an honorable mention to um, our pin because it is a beautiful pin, though it's not my most favorite one. Um, but still, really nice pin. But I'm going to place. Hmm, on the third place, I'm going to put the little key. Well, little, it's quite a big key. Um, because I just love keys, <laughs> as I said. And this one, I love the design of it. Um, also fun that they added, like, the um, crystal ball as the handle of the key. Um, so yeah, that one is my third place. My second place goes to our pentacle decoration. Because, as I said, pentacle uh, but my most favorite part of this box is actually the intuition deck because um, as I said I use a lot of tarot cards and my oracle cards um, to seek advice or to seek guidance when, when I'm on a crossroad but this one is so original and so much fun also to use so um, yeah this one for sure is my favorite one especially also since it came into this beautiful pouch it has an amethyst ties i mean what else can you ask for so this for sure is my favorite item of this box 
Uh, but that was my top three. Uh, feel free to let me know down in the comments what you thought of this box, what's your favorite item, what's your least favorite item. Um, do you practice some divination from time to time? Um, do you also have like predicting dreams and deja vu moments like I do? Just let me know down below. Also down below, but that in the description box will be of course a link to Witch Caskets website in case you are also interested in this um, box or well into the subscription box I mean, uh, but they also have uh, on their online store um, the products from past boxes so feel free to uh, look around there if you're also interested in those. You'll also find down below a link to my previous uh, Witch Casket unboxing plus a link to my Instagram and my blog because as usual there will be lots of pictures concerning these items appearing on my Instagram and on my blog will eventually be a blog post in both Dutch and English that is basically this entire unboxing written out. Uh, so feel free, to, feel free to click on those links too and uh, give me there a follow maybe too. All that's left to say then is thank you guys so so much for watching. If you like this video please give it a little thumbs up because I'll see more than you know and hopefully I see you guys soon for another bookish magical video. Bye!